Hey guys, and welcome back to the Sonic Retrospective, and today we're going to be talking about Sonic the Fighters. So, the first time I played Sonic the Fighters was not in the arcade cabinet, because I'm pretty sure I was not born yet. Uh, <laughs> so, my first time, well, I heard about it from a bunch of other gamers, and, you know, researching Sonic, and I found out about all these Sonic games that I didn't know about, such as, like, Tails Adventure, Tails Sky Patrol, or the Game Gear games, and all that, and I'm like, Sonic the Fighters? Sonic had a fighting game? That's pretty awesome. I'm like, that's an awesome idea. I would love to, like, play it. And then Sonic Gems Collection came out, and I finally got my wish. And I... Uh, it's okay. I mean, it's not a bad game, but it's also just mash... What a, a mash punch button to win game, you know? Like, it's very easy to get to the end of this game. I could probably do it right now. Hell, in the probably 10 minutes of footage, or however many minutes this video is gonna be, of footage that you're seeing, uh, I, I might beat the game. <laughs> so, and as you can kind of see, probably from the footage, is that it really is just keep punching to win. L like, very little do I ever get hit uh, when I play this game, only usually by uh, Fang, or Knack, or whatever you want to call him, uh, because of his fucking pop gun, and I can't even get close to him. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this game could have used a lot more effort. Like, it, it really feels like Sega didn't put a lot of effort into this game. They were just like, hey, people like Street Fighter, people like Mortal Kombat. Uh, let's mesh Street Fighter with Sonic, but, like, not try, because, you know... There's like two combinations for every character, like two special moves for every character. No one's gonna want to do it because you can just punch to win. Like, there's no blocks, there's no strategy, the timer's irrelevant basically. Uh, the only one, the only characters that are really annoying are Fang the Sniper because of his pop gun, and uh, Tails because of his like lift you up and put you down move. Uh, the final boss is pretty blah. I mean, Metal Sonic is actually pretty hard, but again, you just punch him to win. Uh, Eggman, the bonus stage, is just like, you know, sometimes you beat him, sometimes you don't, but it's not like it really matters if you beat him. Uh, also, there are eight Chaos Emeralds in this game. Um, what? <laughs> this is like the only game in the Sonic series that has eight Chaos Emeralds. I mean, like, every other game has either six Chaos Emeralds, because they can't get past Sonic 1, and then they're, game, like, in the Game Gear versions, or have seven Chaos Emeralds, like most of the Sonic games, and even in the one case had seven, seven more Super Emeralds for Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but those are Super Emeralds, not Chaos Emeralds. So, the, like, it, I feel like the only reason they put the eight Chaos Emeralds in there is because they were like, alright, we got eight playable characters in this game, there are only seven Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, close enough. We'll, we'll eight. Okay. Could be like super duper mega fucking Sonic, you know? Uh, <laughs> and getting Super Sonic in this game seems really fucking tedious. I've never been able to do it. I probably will never be able to do it. Because I think it was like, you have to get through the game without losing once. And then do something called Hyper Mode when you fight Metal Sonic. And then you become Super Sonic for like that one round, which seems really dumb, and Sonic is the only one that can do that. I don't know, I, I would have loved the idea where it's like you get all eight Chaos Emeralds, and then no matter what character you are, you can like turn super. I feel like that would have been awesome. Like we'd be able to see like Super Sonic, Super Tails, Super Knuckles, uh, Super Amy, Super Fang, Super Bean, Bark, uh, SPO. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, what's with this character roster? I mean, like, half of the characters on this character roster are exclusive to this game. I heard somewhere that they're, like, based off of characters from another fighting series. Uh, I can't remember which one. It might have been King of Fighters. I, I honestly don't know. But, uh, like, half of the fighters aren't even, like, real Sonic characters. Like, the only real Sonic characters are Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, or Rosie the Rascal, um, and Espio, that I can remember. And then, I guess Fang, as well, because he was in one game before. <clears throat> I mean, if Triple Trouble did come out before this game, but even, I don't know. 
Uh, but then, like, the rest of the characters, like, Bean and Bark, and even the hidden character, Honey, they're all exclusive to this game. And it's like, why? You know? It's, it's, it's just kind of weird that, like, some of this roster isn't, like, recognizable Sonic characters like you would kind of want it to be. I mean, with Bark the Polar Bear and Bean the Dynamite, you could have just as easily replaced them with more Chaotix characters like Vector the Crocodile for Bark, and for Bean the Dynamite, you could have put, like, uh, maybe Mighty, you know? I mean, I know Mighty doesn't throw bombs, but hell, Mighty's supposed to be, like, a really, really tough character in the Sonic canon anyway, so why not have him in a fighting game? Why pick Espio over him? It's not like Espio has anything special about him. I guess he was just really well received when it came to Knuckles Chaotix. So, uh, yeah. I just felt like they really made a lot of weird decisions with this one, like the Chaos Emerald Camp characters, uh, just the way that the gameplay worked. So uh, I think that's all I really gotta say about this short little game, Sonic the Fighters. So I'll see you guys next time with Sonic Schoolhouse. See you there.